What's up guys, Matt from Corneas Creations. It's great to see you again. In today's video, we are going over the top five mistakes that wood carvers slash power carvers make. Thanks for joining guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some, I guess, secrets, if you will, that I've learned along the way. These top five mistakes I'm about to share with you guys have been learned through hours and hours of carving, mistakes, and research. So by the end of this video, I promise you that you're gonna take home a lot of good stuff you probably haven't heard before. So let's jump right in. Number five on the top five mistakes is dull burrs or bits. Now, how in the world do you tell if your burrs are dull? You see these sharp edges right here? Well, over time, these edges begin to dull, and what happens, they begin to actually start grinding instead of cutting, and this produces friction, which will burn your wood. I was trying to find a dull burr, but I got rid of most of them, but that one was pretty dull, and look right there, you can barely see. You see the burn marks right there? There is nothing worse than carving with a dull burr. And number four is so detrimentally important is that you aren't penciling in thick enough lines. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, let's look at example one. You see the thin lines I made right here of this triangle? I made a mistake and guess what? That's gonna be very hard to recover from. Let's go to number two. Same idea, I have a triangle, but what did I do? I put thicker lines and I made the same mistake, but guess what? You see the rest of the pencil in there? I can just take more off on this side and correct my mistake. Thick lines are your insurance policy for your project. Start making your lines bigger when you go to design stuff, guys. Remember this simple rule of thumb. You can always take away, but you cannot add back. And number three could be one of my biggest tips. It is not using sandpaper correctly. And I know that's simple, guys, but there are still so many people that do not do it. Sandpaper is what takes the jagged edges off your corners and your shapes and designs and makes it nice and fluent. That is seriously one of my biggest secrets. I have people all the time ask me, Matt, how are you getting it this way? Sandpaper, bro. And number two is lighting, but not the lighting you're thinking about. I'm talking about diffused lighting, where there is not too much and there's not too little. You guys do know that you can have too much lighting, right? Well, here is what happens, and I bet you haven't heard this before. Too much lighting will cause you to overcompensate your cuts, while too little lighting will cause you to undercompensate your cuts. What in the world do I mean by that? Let me show you. I'm gonna try to simulate this for the camera. You can see we have too much lighting right here. Now this is obviously a little exaggerated, but here's what happens. We tend to overcompensate. I'm gonna fire this up. And I can barely see where I'm at from the angle. So I'm gonna start carving. And let's look. See what happens? That was highlights blinding me from this white wood. And I thought my darker line actually extended out a little farther. And look right here. I've done messed this part of my project up over here which this is actually an, an example here, but you get the idea. Too much lighting will cause you to overjudge. Okay, now we have too little lighting. You can see this in the camera. Okay, you can see here I had too little lighting and it caused me to underjudge. So what did I do? I cut into my project inside of my penciling here. Now with this exaggeration, I'm not saying this will happen all the time, but it has happened to me so many times at different parts of my project, especially if you have something multi-dimensional like this. One of my personal favorite things to use is box lights like you see here, it offers nice diffuse lighting, but I know that's not really cost effective for a lot of people. Another cost effective way to really help you get some good lighting is by taking a few clamp lights like this, putting daylight light bulbs in there, that way it has a nice blue light, and putting what you call muslin grab or any type of white sheet over it. And that's right there is gonna cause the light to actually diffuse instead of highlighting. I'm just using some small clamps right here from a local hardware store to hold the fabric in place. And you would wanna cut this fabric smaller. I'm just using it as an example. Now look right here, that's pretty diffused right there from my end, but when we open this, look at what happens. You see that bright highlight right there? Now watch when we close it. You see how it just softens everything up? 
when you have everything soft, you can see all the shadows and depth and your high, your positive and your negative spaces evenly. So this is the objective. You want to see all your positive and negative space in perfect lighting. That way you won't over or under judge any of your cuts. And number one, the number one mistake that power carvers, wood carvers, and a lot of other people make is that they do not believe in themselves. I'm serious guys, you may be asking yourself, Matt, how's this related to wood carving? It has everything to do with wood carving or any type of artistry for that fact. Let me be vulnerable with you guys right quick. Do you know that your belief system will literally dictate your results? When I first started carving and even now sometimes, I would just get these overwhelming feelings of I can't do this, you can't do that. How in the world, like, I, there's no way I can do that. I would feel like a failure before I even started the project. And there's no worse feeling than that. So I'm telling you guys today, that is a lie. And I promise you, you're not the only one feeling that. I feel that too. Believe in yourself, have confidence in yourself. And I'm not talking about this arrogant type of stuff. I'm simply saying this, be confident in yourself because I'm telling you, you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. And I'm still learning and growing every single day. So guys, believe in yourself. I promise you that you will see so much results when you do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. Do me a favor, please. Smash that subscribe button and hit that like button. That helps my channel out so much. I appreciate you guys. I will have a lot of content coming out soon. Talk to you soon.